Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about your person, the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking, feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? All right, Spirit, angels, guides. For Sagittarius, please. What are they thinking, feeling? about Sagittarius. What is this person thinking, feeling about Sagittarius, about this connection? What are they thinking, feeling about Sagittarius? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Seven of Pentacles, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Well, I'm getting, getting the sense that they're like waiting for something, waiting for the right time to maybe come, take some sort of action with the King of Wands. But I'm also getting here, it's like they've kept you waiting. We'll see what this, I have to clarify that because I'm getting a lot from that. Bottom of the deck is the world. Endings, beginnings, old cycles, new cycles. So let's break this down. Tell me about the King of Wands spirit. Why is the King of Wands here? For Sagittarius. Why is the King of Wands here? Can we deal with another fire sign? There's Leo with strength and the Four of Swords, okay? Tell me about the King of Wands. Ooh, interesting. I'm getting some weird energy here because I don't know. These two energies are kind of stepping back. There's a devil, Capricorn energy, yep. There's something off here. <laughs> I felt it with when I saw these two, but I wasn't sure what it is. I think that this person might not be presenting themselves completely um, openly to you. Um, or their actions do not reflect their intentions. I'm also getting this energy of someone who wants to control the situation, but doesn't want to appear like they're controlling the situation. I heard gaslight, so I don't want to jump to conclusions, but that would fit with what I'm kind of feeling in terms of like someone presenting themselves and not being honest about who they truly are because they're doing that in order to get something in return. It's really strange. I'm also getting like someone who might be in a tough situation, a tough spot. And so they're wearing a mask and they're taking a step back, even though they really want to take action. Let me get one more on this double energy. Spirit, tell me about the devil. Six of Pentacles. Give and take, balance. Yeah, I'm, I'm picturing someone like on a seesaw, but also like being forced there. Hmm. Like if I do this, I'm gonna get that in return, very transactional. But also like they feel like that's the only way they can do this. You, I hope this is making sense because the energy is not very clear right now. I just started the reading, but I feel this King of Wands is your person taking some sort of action. This is this was reflecting their motivations towards you, their attraction, desire for you or t for this particular thing that they want. Um, but I feel like they're presenting something without telling you why or without being honest about what they intend to do. Okay, let me move on to the Seven of Pentacles. But I don't know if this is like a good thing or a bad thing. I just feel like it's questionable energy right now. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? 
Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like this person is appearing very confident. But they're deep down they're like not really sure. Ooh. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please. We got the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please. Six of Wands. Okay. So this person, there's the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They are hoping for success, victory with the Six of Wands. But I, I'm also getting, okay, so some of you, there is another person involved that's slowing them down. And for others of you, the reunion itself between you and them, because I feel like you would be together, that would be the goal for you to be together with this person. That's, there's a waiting game there. And it's because they're being very careful. No matter which group you're in, this person's being very careful. If they're married, they are wanting to, I guess, deal with this other third party in a way where things can are not rushed. Yeah, there's something here with timing. There's temperance. There you are, Sagittarius energy. Something here with timing. But again, I, I feel like I'm reading for two different groups of Sagittarius. One of you, in, in one of you, uh, group one, we'll say, Group one, you're not getting the whole story, and there was a reading for you that I did a couple weeks back, or like last the last reading I did for you, I think it was. Go watch that reading, if this doesn't make sense to you, but it's resonating. Um, this person is not telling you everything for a reason. They are appearing like they have a situation under control, but that's not true. And another group of you they're dealing with another situation, a third party outside of you, that there's a waiting game there. And I don't know if you know that. Hopefully you do. If you don't know that, I'm telling you, <laughs> it's not going to be fast. And your person's worried that it would actually work out the way that they hope. They're not very confident. Tell me about the higher fonts. Why is the higher font here? Wow, Queen of Pentacles. I instantly think uh, a marriage, long-term partner. Death, Scorpio energy. Maybe this is, there's a third party situation here. Another person. Tell me about the higher font. Why is the higher font here? Oh, I got three. Two of Cups. The Lovers. Wow. Soulmate Energy. Gemini. And Two of Wands. Yeah. Did you have a... Was that you that I did the reading? Hold on. Let me see. Last reading. Yeah, last reading. You have to choose between two people. Very specific reading. But I'm starting to think that it's... Either you're choosing between two people, Sagittarius, or your person has to choose between you and the third party. Watch that reading as well. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving you homework. If this um, resonates for you. I feel like it's a continuation, most likely. Um, but yeah, I feel like one thing has to end. Death. You know, the seesaw effect. One thing has to end. You have to give something to get something in return. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, the two of pentacles. The back and forth here, the choice. Choice between two, weighing your options, back and forth energy. But see, I'm really worried here because I'm really hoping that your person isn't juggling two people and telling you while they juggle two people that they're gonna get rid of one or deal with one or, or end a situation because I feel like that's a long time from happening for the seven of pentacles. I mean, hopefully I'm wrong about that, but that's, I feel like there's a timing thing here. Things are not going to move quickly. Let's see, why is death here? Spirit, what is this death energy about? Seven of cups. Yeah, it's like someone's still deciding. 
trying to figure things out. And then there's the Four of Wands. Maybe there's a home, an asset, a family, a marriage, something that they have to be careful with. Because I feel like this is someone being careful. There's Justice, Libra energy. I mean, if, they, if there's a divorce, things are slowing down. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Tell me about the Two of Wands. King of Pentacles. Okay, yes. I feel like this is your person's choice. There's the Fool. New beginnings, risks, new starts, new beginnings. It would be the choice to have a new beginning, take a risk. I feel like this person is probably the choice that they have to do is whether to do something now or like and take the risk or not. Because now I'm starting to think that this Four of Swords with the Strength card... Your person doesn't know. It's almost like they change day to day. One day they wake up and they're this like lion, courageous, willing to take charge. And then the, the next day they're taking a nap. I think that this devil energy, whatever this devil energy represents, whatever unhealthy attachment, toxicity, addiction, um, restriction, um, lust, desire, whatever it is that this devil represents. Um... I feel like it's a barrier and it wears your person out. You know, like one day they're like, I'm going to deal with this problem. And they're very gun ho about it. And it is very interesting to me that they're like that because over here there's like uncertainty. I know I have to end or change a situation, change or end something. But I'm just not sure. Despite the fact that there's a soulmate energy here. Which I think that's with you. Tell me about this person's overall energy spirit with Sagittarius. It's like third party drama or something. Like I feel there's more to this than the cards can really show. Because I feel like there's a lot of back and forth energy. right? Like you don't know what you're going to get day to day. Every week is a different episode. What's the overall energy here? And your person, they're 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 very doubtful, I feel, of over this going the way that they hope. What's this person's overall energy, please? What's their overall energy towards Sagittarius? Lasting promise, commitment, longevity, future. I feel like either they can't commit to you or they're currently stuck in a commitment. Deep regret. Yeah. What's the overall energy for this person that Sagittarius is thinking about or connecting with? So, wow, unexpected event. Tower moments for sure. Um, hopefully that your person is willing to have courage enough to cause a tower because I feel like that's what this death card would be. Something is something ends. I'm really hoping that you're not surprised by something because hidden feelings is at the bottom of the deck here. So I'm really hoping that this person doesn't reveal or confess something that surprises you, you know? I just, for some reason, am not thinking that that would be a good thing. So I'm really hoping that this unexpected event instead is maybe there's a tower with a third party. Whatever restriction this is or situation this is, there's a tower there and your person can be actually open about what they truly want. Tell me more about this person's energy, please. Bad health, great fortune. Yeah, complete turnaround here. There's the lovers, bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is somebody that's hoping to be like, to have a turnaround of their current state, which isn't good, right? Like right now they're not doing so well. Their, their, their health is poor. Their mental health is probably poor. They're tired, worn out. They're hoping for a lucky break, a miracle here with great fortune. What do they wish to tell Sagittarius? 
What does this person wish to tell Sagittarius? What would they tell Sagittarius? That they could? I'm not giving up? Well, that's reassuring because I feel like some days this person does want to give up. They might not tell you that. They might not be honest about that with themselves, but I do. I am picking up like this person is very back and forth. My heart belongs to you. Reassurance. I feel like that's reassurance. Like they need to reassure you for whatever reason. I'm not giving up even though it looks like it. That's kind of what I'm getting there. Or I'm actually... I'm not giving up even though I'm not taking action towards this, right? It's very confusing almost. What do they wish to tell Sagittarius? What do they wish to tell Sagittarius Spirit? Can't stop thinking about you. Bottom of the deck. So many things remind me of you. Okay. I'm, I'm, I really want to see action here though. Tell me about their intentions. What are their genuine, true intentions towards Sagittarius Spirit? What are their genuine intentions towards Sagittarius? Their genuine intentions, Spirit, towards Sagittarius? Ten of Swords. Okay, so some sort of um, ending, difficult ending. Genuine intentions towards Sagittarius nine of Pentacles so I feel like their intentions are to be free independent single after an ending there's the page of Pentacles tell me about this ten of swords what's this ten of swords about what's this ten of swords about ten of wands so some sort of long-standing burden obligation they want it to be over they want to be over and done with but the hangman is at the bottom of the deck so warning yeah and there's the three of wands waiting stuck now some of you i feel like they're they're being held up against their will you know they're being slowed down against their will and others of you i feel it's their own fault with the way that they're handling the situation Regardless, all you have to know is it's not going to happen as quickly as they want or as quickly as they're telling you. There's going to be delays, I feel, and waiting periods here with this particular person. Despite the fact that they, you know, this is a soulmate connection, blah, 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 blah. I feel like your connection is not the problem. I feel it's the third party drama that's slowing everything down 